I am now recording. Okay. Three, two, one. This is gold in the form of chum. Give it up for my friend Chum We're here. We're here. We're live. Chumming it up. Episode 001. Verbal meme. Mom, I want the Joe Rogan podcast. Mom says, we have Joe Rogan at home. Joe Rogan at home. It's me. That's a great verbal meme. It's the broke Joe Rogan. Broke Joe Rogan. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm Blannable uh, Burris from the newest episode or newest season of Eric Andre. Uh, welcome to Chumming It Up, ladies and gentlemen. It's the solo pod. It's like when Ice Cube uh, left NWA. and you know, But I didn't leave him. Um, I'm still there. I'm still on the Tuesday catch up. It's just, this is my, you know, this is my, uh, this is my, my, my magnum opus, my, my coup de gras, my, my real solo star moment, uh, to find out if Donatello can stand outside the Ninja Turtles. And to be honest with you, the, the verdict remains out. Uh, what can you expect from the show? Whatever I want. It might be a guest one day. Uh, maybe our mystery producer. Uh, can I use your name on this or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mystery producer Andre, who you'll never see his face because he wants to get a job. And obviously, I have no self-regard for my career. Uh, you might see some clips. We're going to have some segments. So stick along. It's a YouTube show. But if you're listening, there's a little something in it for you, too. We'll still describe all the clips, all things out there. Um, Andre, I took quite a few uh, times to convince you that this was a worthwhile endeavor of your time. Um, sitting here in the first minute and a half, how do you feel? I made a mistake. I <laughs> trust me. Same here. Uh, we're sponsored by Diet Coke. No sugar, no calories, no fucks given. Uh, drink Diet Coke, you'll feel real good. Okay, so into the show, Andre. Political climate, fantastic out there. It's a political show. This all it's, that's literally all we're going to talk about the whole time. Um, I'm yeah, going to pull. Welcome to our uh, podcast about anti-abortion rights <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yes yes i want right to live that's yeah. my that's my whole that's been my whole thing um no i do want to show you this picture so as of yesterday no two days ago uh my my somewhat aunt's um chihuahua taco uh changed his profile <laughs> picture to i stand behind the heroes <laughs> who protect this life this is family it's a yeah, it's a, oh, yeah. This is so good. my aunt's chihuahua taco is a blue lives matter uh, supporter now so and this is this is where we've gotten Andres the middle ground is is absolutely just it's gone so this is going to be a, a safe haven for all you people who you know you don't want to listen to people yeah you hate people this is a podcast of hating people and we're excited about it um Andre you had said that you had something you want to talk about we had the inauguration yesterday today two days ago the world's still going honestly we're still here yes so 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 went to launch a show that was the whole goal i was like oh i want to do a solo thing and then within a week it was like well the world's actually going to end on the 23rd um or 20 20th the world's going to end on the 20th inauguration day and our first episode was going to record on the 21st fantastic timing uh the world would end before i ever got to spread my creative wings the show is called chumming it up and that would have absolutely just put an icing on the cake of of what chum Really in, in, entails yeah so yeah. okay so yeah, yeah yeah let's get to this why is the name chumming it up well the name chumming it up in high school when i was fat still fat well when i was more fat and shorter um i had long hair <laughs> long black hair and i was walking down the hallway and i was on the football team just one of those things where like your parents make you sign up just so you don't kill yourself you know like <laughs> it was it was like they put me on antidepressants or i go run gassers with the football team so they put me on the football team and i'm walking down the hallway and one of the bigger seniors goes hey Hey, Harley, who's my brother? He goes, your brother looks like Chum Lee from Bond Stars. And thus it stuck from, I think it was um, maybe early on my sophomore year, late my freshman year. And what am I now? Five years removed from college and my own mom doesn't even call me Hayden anymore. It's pretty incredible how uh, two seconds of your life can carry on for your entire a life. decade yeah. a decade or more oh and yeah. it'll be forever yeah so chumming it up it's kind of a play on words you see the bucket the logo fancy production value the reason we did the bucket is it's the chum bucket like we're chumming it up we're chumming the waters we're going to chum it up with some gas we're going to chum it up with each other it's going to be fantastic um so that's that's where we were at the inauguration with the world was going to end everything's all hunky dory now taco backs the blue and we're on to bigger and better things except for you had a thought. So this is our uh, first humble, uh, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, your uh, promotion for your other podcast. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's this other podcast you run, and mm-hmm. 
I may or may not have put this question in on Instagram and forgot that I'd put it in. It was actually the, uh, oh, what is it when you wa walk away and you kill each other in terms of mm. honor? Duels. Duels. Uh, yep, we, need, we need to bring duels back in, in this country. So the number one issue we have on absolutely both sides of the aisle is disrespect. Mm. And what is more respectful and honorable than a duel? No, absolutely nothing. The reason people talk so much and don't shut up is because no one's strapped with a, with a yeah, six shooter. There anymore. used to be repercussions for saying something about someone's sister. Yeah, no, you're not. You're not wrong. And we talked about it on the other podcast. We said, listen, if you if someone disrespects you, you should challenge them to a fight to the death, one to one combat to the death. And if they back out, they owe you something, or they just get slaughtered online, which kind of happens anyway. Like yeah. the fight me IRLs, but the duel. I'm on board as long as they're not some experienced marksman who can like flip it around like no, like I'm Mandalorian thinking, style. I'm thinking Trump Pelosi, you know, in the middle. <laughs> Twelve o'clock hour, yes. tumbleweed down uh, Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah, I mean, we got thousands on each side. I'm talking right. Aaron Burr, Alexander Hamilton, exactly. popping off. Okay, route. and and that's just I promise you things would start to get more mild. All right. Well, hey, you, there you have it. Uh, it. Duels might be coming back. I don't see the thing is though. I would not. You. I think. What would happen is people would take things a lot less seriously. They would say, you know, was it really worth it when that that's guy... That's because at some point they gave up the seriousness. Like at some point someone said, I'm challenging you to a duel and didn't show up. And ever since that moment... The duels... first bluff. History's <laughs> yeah. first bluff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's talking all that shit off like some distilled 1770 whiskey. Right. And he's like... All right, then, Cornelius, I'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. And can you imagine waking up hungover and they're like, hey, man, you have to be somewhere like in 20 minutes. Yeah. Like when, you know, you make a like you uh, make plans when you're really drunk with a friend. You're like, I'll see you tomorrow. 10 a.m. Brunch, dude. Never this is happens. brunch with a revolver. It's like, hey, man, you should have heard what you were saying last night. Like you told George Washington that you wanted to like blow his wooden teeth out of his head and yeah. he challenged you to a How duel. How does that lead taste? Yeah. And now. And now what are you going to do? Now you have to go either die or you run away a coward and you have to go west and mine gold. Yeah, but I mean the world was so – there was no internet back then. That's so fair. you just run away to the west and no one ever finds you. Yeah. Can that pull closer to you? Can that? Can that? Oh, can yeah. it? I think it can. All right. All right. I, I don't want to like, – No, 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 you do. I'm conscious of the <sighs> – No, no, no. It's fine. There's also a mute button on the board. Production value. Gravy Train Productions. Difference. That's we right. are a Gravy Trains production podcast. You are way. officially a media corporation now that you have – Two. Well, you had, we had four. Yeah, yeah there were. We more. had three. We had three. We had two to catch up. We had Nigga Knight. We had sixty yard line. Well, what about Five High Guys too? Five High I, Guys was the original. Right. Two to catch up. It was different. It was a brainchild. This is kind of this is some some bastardized version. Um, this of is the that. dream. Sorry, yeah. Tuesday. No, sorry. Yeah. Well, you know what? They're both. They've got they're they've got equal places in my heart. Um. So what's going on? I'm trying to lose weight. Andre knows this. He's been working out with me for weeks, weeks, days, whatever. I've been I think we're at two really weeks, so two we weeks. officially it's two weeks. It's weeks. I took a look in the mirror and then on the scale, and it turns out I had gained, hang on, a golden retriever. I had just looked at him, all the fur, and just, and I ate the whole damn thing. And that's what's around my waist right now. I gained 62 pounds, an adult male dog, in five months, quarantine life, okay? As glad this is a waste up podcast because it starts right there and then just explodes. So, it got me on this train. I'm on the weight loss train. I've lost bets before. I've had to get piercings, but you know, it's, it, it is what it is. And it got me thinking about all the places that I used to frequent. Um, and one of those places is buffets. And I just want to talk for a brief moment about how fucking disgusting buffets are. Will they ever return post COVID? I bet you in certain places of the country, they're thriving, <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't, I don't think I'll ever step foot in a buffet again. I mean, I will say this. There's a reason, like, you got to expose your body to germs, the buffet. But buffets are disgusting. Like, they're not even so, like, they're so not even afraid to be who they are. What like, about the fact that the actual piece of plastic is called a sneeze guard? Do that, love that. I, I mean, they that. absolutely, it, it is actually called a sneeze guard. Well, okay, so here's where I'm at with it. It's I've like, been in the industry. Is, is, is certain buffets are aggressive. Like, who hot? Who hot literally takes a violent tone of eating. They're like, you're going to pillage. You're going to come in here. <laughs> you're going to fucking <laughs> pillage a village. And and I'm in for it. And it makes me aggressive. When I'm aggressive, I eat more. That's how I vent out my feelings. I don't duel. I eat. I don't show up and shoot. I want to show up and eat. That's why I said the brunch example. So other uh, other buffets, you know, like Golden Corral. Like, okay, we're just a bunch of barn animals. I, I, pizza Ranch. Ranch involves what? Pigs, cows, fucking horses. Where they literally, they know who they are. They're like, come on in, barn animals. Like, do it. And and at times, I have gone and gotten absolutely 
disgustingly full there. It'd be me and a few buddies, and that we were we sat down one time and we were eating, and we just kept ripping on each other, like ripping on ourselves. They're like, "Oh, nice, you went with the bowl for ranch, not the cup. That's fantastic. Like, so good for you. Like, you know what? You know what goes good on this pizza, or like, you know what goes good on this salad? And then just turned over a piece of pizza on it, and then we were like thinking about what the waiter would say to us. Like, you know, like he comes up to me, he's like, "Hey, man, the kids want to know if you're gonna like share any of that dessert pizza. Like, <laughs> they want to know if you're gonna get put any back. You've uh, you've, look. you're three ch- cherry strudel." deep um that's the buffet style so wouldn't be afraid if they were gone um biggest challenges i do genuinely feel like i'm being depressed by my lack of sugar this is the first diet coke i've had in two weeks and there's no sugar in that it, but, shut up you know what i'm saying soda sugars all of it but i'm saying like you know when you don't go for it all of a sudden your body's like oh so we're depriving ourselves of this now and it goes into kind of this depressive mode i've been irritable i've been irritable and i don't know what's going on i think it's the sugar kick i think that's uh withdrawal symptoms that's my body shedding weakness that's 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 (laughs) that's me grinding uh let's talk about some stuff going on that else 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 wise actually no no we got one more note i'm trying to buy a house and what annoys me is that everybody wants to take a little bit out of your pocket during buying a house. I would love nickel and dime for sure. Nickel and yeah, I would love if you could walk up with like, let's say, you know, you got a loan from the bank. And why can't it be this simple? You walk up to the bank, you say, Hey, and they look at your credit and they go, Okay, you're, you're like, you're pretty solid. That's fantastic. Um, here's your hundred thousand dollar loan, and um, it's in a check form, and you can walk up to the next house you buy and give them that check, and the house is yours. It should be that simple. But instead, everybody's got to take a piece of it. You got to pay. You got to pay the person who just finds it, and then you got to pay. Um, you got to pay just to close it. The bank's like, yeah, even. I mean, we're just we're gonna take some some we're gonna take five percent off the top just for being a part of this whole um, madness, and then. You know, I don't know. It's just a mess, and I don't have the money for it, and I don't really know what to do. It's uh, it's pretty wild. I mean that, and then they just force you into buying more money. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, let's let's watch a fun clip. Let's warm up with something fun, huh? We just got to figure out what you want to do. I think. Well, it's, well, yeah. We'll go with this one. Yeah, this clip comes to us from Karen's in the Wild, a very popular YouTube channel. Karen's in the Wild. Now. So this lady, let's let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, she said if you don't get if you don't move the car. I will ham you because you're not letting me out. Ham you? That gun's safe. So you're not letting me out. I feel I'm safe. I feel unsafe. What? So Andre, to give you some background, of what's happening here is they're in a McDonald's drive-through. I'm gonna guess her debit card got declined. That's I, just given. I don't know if you feel at home, you feel the same way. Just given the look, I'm gonna feel her debit card got declined, and so she wants out of the drive-through lane. She's parked immediately behind these people, um, and she wants out. Now you'll see in a little bit. There's plenty of fucking room for her to get out, but she is knocking on these poor people's doors who got parked because their fries aren't done because they probably asked for them unsalted, like a bunch of fucking. I worked at McDonald's, and if you ask for your fries unsalted, we know you don't have a salt allergy. You're just an asshole. Like you, you, you know what happens? Fifteen year old me, who's just ready to get home and do their homework, has to take paper towel and scoop films of salt and grease into the garbage for about five, 10 minutes. And then just for one batch of your fries, which let me tell you, most of the time gets salted anyway. If you think they're lightly salt, they're not. And, and lightly salted isn't a thing. Lightly salted doesn't get you fresh fries. Lightly salted, literally we just like try to get the, we just take the top and we put it in the thing, okay? So McDonald's is lying to you and you're lying to yourself. Back to it. Okay, so Karen, she's mad. She wants out. I will ram your car. So wow. she feels unsafe, yet is planning of uh, uh, what is that? Would a hit and run at this point? I don't uh, hit hit and run would uh, include her actually running. It sounds like this is going to be an ordeal. We're gonna find out. Let's keep watching. So you can either one move the fuck out of the way, or I'm gonna feel unsafe and I'm gonna ram your car. Right now, you're being the aggressor. Not, Love that. that. I'm letting you, you know. Stop I feel you not. Hey. I, I think I had a boss that looked like that one time. I went to her office. And I don't feel that. safe to go around. There are parts for a reason. I'm letting you know. Go. I'm calling the cops. Have you been Good. drinking? She's all fucked up. No, I have not. My I'm exact sorry. thoughts. Huh? My exact thoughts. Have you been drinking? Oh, 100%. So we'll skip ahead a little bit. That I'm picture. Hmm? That, that picture where it was stopped should be the episode 
picture. Like thumbnail? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. One thing, I'm sober, which is great. I hope so. They come, and they're blocking my way out of here. You told them I could... This, this is when you know you're in trouble. When yep. you see this... And then you, if you're filming, I'll tell you this. If you want to catch a care, a care in the wild, which I don't, I honestly, let people be people. Because she probably got fired from a fucking job for this. But I'm going to roast it anyway. Okay? Th let people be people. Crazy people. The cops will handle it. It, it was, uh, fuck it, the Lord will sort them. That's the rap line for this. Okay? So she's got the aggressive point. Now, if you see that and you want to film and that comes your way, it's time to shut off. We, uh, we were at a Cranky Pat's. Years ago, great place. Yeah, great. Yeah, no, the Mid Midnight Buffet. Mid Absolutely. Okay, we just roasted buffets, but that's a buffet I'd go back to. Yeah, that's different. Bar food it buffet. <laughs> <laughs> you know how often I do this. I'm, I'm going to do this. I, let's keep track of how many times I flip this, flip uh, my opinions on things. Whatever. I'm fucking chummy flakes. Um, so here's what happened. We were at this cranky pats. It was midnight, and we were sitting there. It was a bunch of like football guys, classic kind of rah rah night. We're like, let's not go drinking because of the code of conduct. Let's go to cranky pats. So we do, and we're sitting there. Everything's all hunky dory. We're just mowing pizza, but there's a band playing. So cranky pats has two rooms. One room is for the eating and people coming in in my midnight buffet. There's no age restrictions. And then there's the 21 plus area, and a lady who looks shockingly similar. I on maybe the same person comes just through the two doors into the eating area. And she's like, well, the fuck is up everybody. What the fuck's up? And we're like, Oh shit. And so, you know, like you have the ballsy kids in high school who they're going to kind of push on that a little bit. They're enjoying themselves. They kind of want to see what's up. So they start talking to her and she's like, Oh, you guys look like a bunch of football players. My dad coached football in Canada, which isn't real football. My dad coached football in Canada is a championship more like that. That wasn't English. So, she goes, oh, what are you guys eating? And we're like, oh, we're having some pizza. Like, no fucking shit. Where are you? You're cranky pets pizzeria. She's like, okay, well, I'm a vegetarian. Do you have any of that cheese shit? And she's like, give me the cheese shit. And she's now circling the table trying to pick off our plates. Now, mind you, this is a 32-year-old woman. We're all like 16. And that's a little aggressive. But we're, we're enjoying ourselves. Um, and then she goes, where's the cheese shit? So as she's talking about that, one guy is sitting there with a piece of like sausage pizza i mean and there was a lot of sausage on it and he's just dumping parmesan cheese by the mountain on it so it looks like it's just cheese and she eats it and she's like mm, i fucking love cheese and then she's like do you guys know that my my um my ferret died yesterday this is how yeah, it gets a little off she's like my ferret died yesterday and we're all kind of like giggling like Oh really? How to die? Like we didn't really care. Yeah, you're all that on much. the ride of your life, right? No, 100. percent It was we were living, living big. So we're like cracking up because some, like one of the guys is engaging with her, and the rest of us are just like, she hasn't fully flipped the switch that we're not laughing with her. Which I know, ah, you sound like an asshole. I was in high school, whatever. Um, still funny. Still funny. So then she goes, "Do you guys want to see a picture?" And she shows it to like one of the quieter kids in the group, and he bursts out laughing. Like at the and, he, and she goes, "The fuck." Whom grabs his neck. This 32-year-old grabs a 16-year-old boy's neck and she squeezes. She goes, You don't laugh in the face of death. She's like, I'll cut. She goes, I'm Norwegian. I'll cut your fucking dick off. And then we look over to the guy running the cranky pats. We're like, dude, help us. And he just shakes his head. He's like, You guys, you this, this is yourself. uh this is every Friday night. No, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> but that's so let me let's wrap this back. This is the lesson. It, don't engage. You just pretend they're not there. Or like, you know, you know. You just can't, you don't show them a reaction. They're not going to give you one. But these people are like engaging with her. The people in the car are doing the best job. They're not doing a goddamn thing. They're like, we just want our number threes and want to get out of here. Yeah, they. Uh, I, I love that the windows have not even looked like they're going to move. They're probably good old Catholics getting their fish fillets on Lent. There's, there's nothing. It's like a rent Land Rover maybe? Maybe. They're wealthy, obviously. Yeah. Too wealthy for that. They don't want to catch that. So, okay, let's see what goes on here. I get out of here without them going. She looks like she's like in her Alright, 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 alright. So, so where are we at now? She's getting in the car. Let's follow the saga. She looks like she's like in her I agree. Mid 30s, great description. Good call. I'm sorry? I got a whole bunch of on film. She's thin. Can you get the license? On film, this yes. guy is like 50. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like she has tattoos, so. Oh, they're giving the description of the cop. Okay. There's there's another piece here. So she's angry. He's filming her license plate. We'll cut that. Oh, yeah.
All right, let's see if she does what she said she's gonna do. Oh fuck! Whoa! Just kidding! Holy shit! Total hit run! Hit run! Hit and run! Six V V eight. This is America. Hit and run! I feel unsafe. I feel unsafe. That's how I feel about this podcast. I feel unsafe. There's no safety net. There's no. There's no. This is my safe space. There's no five guys to to laugh at my stupid comments, and so I'm putting myself really out there right now. Uh, how about that guy who? And I'm just going to jump topics because we can. How about that guy who lost? Did you hear about this? The guy who had a hard drive and he had bought a bunch of Bitcoin back in the day. And I he lost it, and then he got, or he didn't lose it. No, there's two different guys out there. He lost the password, right? Correct. So there's two stories out here. I argued with with someone about this the other night. Um, first guy lost the password. It's ten attempts on this hard drive. If you get to ten, it erases everything. He's got right. three hundred million dollars in Bitcoin sitting right there, and uh, he's at eight. He's at eight attempts, and he has now. You know when you like. You lose something pretty important to you, and then you go like, oh, I wasn't like, I, I didn't really want to win anyway. Like, I, you know, oh, oh I don't put yeah. value on that. That's what he's doing. This whole article is like a two-page article. He's like, I have to live outside the numbers, man. Like, I don't have to worry. Like, I can't live my life worrying about that. It's like, no, you need to find a way into that account. You need yep. to pay. Like, you need to get some sort of uh, deal with a hacker that says I'll split you a 50 50 yeah. 150 million dollars that's generational 75, wealth. 25 at this point i want something something give me a million out of it and said he's guessing like hayden one yeah i <laughs> mean two. The, like, dude, what i'm okay. confused about don't get me wrong if i had something that i thought was that high in value i might come up with a little bit of a tougher tougher password but it's gonna sure. be like very close off of my you know three passwords i use yeah i'm not not quite sure how he came up with something so complicated that he out of eight tries has not guessed it I mean, it's an unfortunate tale. Absolutely, but again, I think the easiest way here, and he's probably thought of this. I can't imagine he's got three hundred million online. He's just giving up. Uh, talk to anybody. I mean, they've hacked. Yeah, like, I'd go to the Russians. I one hundred percent, dude. If they could, I mean, I don't know. I think that's just ridiculous to stop trying. All right, you want to do more a couple more clips? Yeah, can I see what's going on? All right, oh, yeah. so I stumble. I, I like to do a lot of YouTube during the day. Um, it's big. It's a hobby of mine is to see what the what's going on. And one YouTube rabbit hole I went down was the Tomb of the Fallen Soldier. Okay, do you know what that tell, is? No, tell me. Well, so, I know I know about the Tomb of the Fallen Soldier. Tomb but, of the Unknown Soldier. Yeah, tomb of yeah. the Tomb. Whatever. Wow, we're disrespectful. <laughs> No one even knows who they are. Yeah, so what? The family's going to come after me. They don't know who's in there. I, 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 um, that's, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, these guards are like useless. They're fucking. There's, why? Why? I get it's a sign of reverence, but they are like their job 24 7, dollars. 365. 24 7, 365. There was an eight minute YouTube documentary, which I would not put on this show, but they are the uh, apparently the most elite group. Like they're more elite than the Marines, they said. It's more one in every like. No, you get chosen for those kind of jobs. Can you imagine if someone chose you to walk back and forth yeah. for six you are hours such a or seven great, hours at a time? So, you're so good at your job that we don't even want you to actually do your job anymore. The hash, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I, they're like, he's the most highly trained. Like, would not he be better jumping into a third world country and exactly. overthrowing the government? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's no? my thoughts. Okay, well, there it is. Um, so, yeah. They're basically useless, and they will not break characters. So you know how, like, if a cop's around and a crime arises, like, you punch me in the face and we don't know each other, the cop's going to intervene 11 out of 10 times. Yeah, Yeah, they're going to come get you. So these two of these unknown soldiers, they don't break character for anything. Like, uh, when we were there in Pennsylvania, my grandma, not my grandma, there's someone behind us, someone's behind us, I'm not going to embellish this, it was someone's behind us, grandma's, just fainted because it was 90 degrees out and we're sitting there and they make you stand they scream at you they're like uh stay hard chase the rails and so you have to stay behind there You're american aren't you i guess but if she's 87 with fucking like carpal tunnel in every single piece of her body you just should let her sit down and, and they will weak they halt that well yeah but they halt the presentation like get up like you got to stand up so anyways she gets the locked knees and tips over and these guys don't even flinch it's literally it's a doggy dog world that part's kind of funny because they just won't flinch. The second part that's funny is if unsuspecting tourists to Washington, D.C. cross the chains and rails. And those are the clips we're going to show today, okay? Pull this up here. 
Are you goddamn kidding me? Oh, yeah, we're good. We're gonna get her going. Remain behind the chase the room! Now, okay, so first one. Just re remain behind the chains and rails. Fantastic. Remain behind the chains and rails! He cocks his gun. Can you imagine? First there move. <laughs> First move. Can you imagine if there's 75 people watching this like reverence ceremony and he just et puts an M4 to somebody because they stepped over the chains and rails at a at a at a memorial? So that's that's clip number one. He'll yell one more time, I believe. Behind the chains and rails. Now the alternate angle of that is this family and they're like walked up the wrong way and they're like frantically going back and forth like you know when you're walking straight at someone you can't decide to go left or right right that's what they're doing um pretty tragic scene for them now this one's my favorite now watch this lady she's starting to creep up okay and she's making her way in she's like i'm gonna get a better picture she's very not assuming yeah oh she'll catch it don't worry look at her Doing. Now, I get it. It's all pomp and circumstance. I'm glad they're like the way they handled them. I, I just don't. The yelling bugs me. I don't understand. Obviously, people are there because they know it's a sign of reverence. But like, there's this guy is a common perpetrator. I think he's been a guard for a while because every video is the same guy yelling. Some of them. There's one guy who's like, "Ma'am, could you please stand up?" Like, "Ma'am, could you get off?" But this guy is a hardo. So I've got a proposition for you. Sure. I would like to see that other Karen in this video along with him i would like to see a melee i i pay for this yeah i, I feel unsafe he cocks the gun i, I feel, feel unsafe yeah. you do that and i feel unsafe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what i really wa was hoping to see here no you're not wrong uh, i think we had a couple more in here we'll take a roll we'll take a trip down pretty sure uh so if you're listening, they're just doing a classic patrol, just doing a classic changing patrol. of the guards. Yeah, the changing of the guards, just an interesting, you know, p portion, and then, and then, boom! Someone just hit it like a ton of bricks, and the guards uh -huh. look at them. They it's just a little kid. Hey, look, and this it just keeps on chugging, dude. This lady's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> Come what on, girls. Going on? Come on, girls. We're going back to fucking Disneyland. We're getting out of here. <laughs> you know, the changing of the guards, it's a, it's some sort of, uh, for some reason, it's a sacred ceremony. Sure. And it is also in England. And I, I will say, I don't understand it. We, we go, like you saw that, there's a crowd of people to watch yeah. guards change shift. You want to come sh watch shift change? Just go to every any manufacturing plant at 3 o'clock. Like you're gonna see plenty of changing of the guards. And Lord, and you know, some would say that's more patriotic. Some would say. Some would say. Um, all right, quite a debate also sparked here. Uh, peeing when standing up. Um, so I was sent a clip here by Lucy. I gotta make sure. I gotta figure out which one it is here. Um, TikToks have become kind of a, a rage in the house, and this lady has quite the take on if men should be peeing standing up or sitting down. Better. Fans. So for a couple weeks now, I've been trying to explain to my husband that as a man, when you go to the bathroom and you're standing up, it splatters. Don't try to say, oh no, I aim perfectly. It's always in the toilet. No, it's not. So I've since told him that he needs to start sitting down when he goes to the bathroom. Nope, he says he can't. He says that's taking away his manhood. Pfft. No, it's not. It's just called keeping the bathroom clean. So I'm here to prove him wrong. With this. So at this point, she's taking a black light into the so toilet. So we made it to the bathroom, and I don't even want to turn it on. She turns the lights Ew. off, hits it. There's Ew. some minor splatter. I mean, you should see the you bedroom. You know when you get flick it a case. couple times? Yeah, that's where it actually goes. <laughs> There's that um perfect aim that y'all have. Yeah. Don't even come at me that it's cleaner either, because I've heard rumors that it could be cleaner. Here's cleaner. Oh, yeah, so now she's spraying cleaner that's to key. show the comparison. Oh, pee, 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 and look, it's clean. It's clear. Sit down while you pee. She took her she took her man's standing privileges away. Now, 
I'm working on a rebuttal clip to this, <laughs> so stay tuned next week. I'm working on a rebuttal clip for how this how the, how how it goes. But I mean, do you think that men are now opening their pants and then pissing down their leg? Like I don't. She's like, uh, there was my a rip- problem is my dick hits the water. Oh, <laughs> fantastic! <laughs> Rim shot. Um, no. So one of the the thing is is like. There was another rebuttal video, and this lady's like, yeah. And my husband also sits when he pees because he said he could feel it splattering back on his knees and ankles when he's peeing. I said, ha, are, they, are they handling fire hoses? <laughs> like, it's not that hard. Put the seat up and pee. I, I just it, – it blows my mind that you would let someone else tell you that you need to sit down when you pee as a grown-ass man. Yeah, so, you know, I you – know, You know who made the rebuttal video? The chick from the drive-thru. Yes. Oh, man. I feel unsafe when there's pee on the ground in the bathroom. Well, what doesn't make sense to me is if it's really that big of a problem, make him clean. And mm. I guess there's some arguments there that, you know, his quality of clean is not her quality of clean and whatever. But uh, we live in a feminist world and, and oh, she, Andre's he, taking shots. Well, he, He's she should it. make him clean. It's kind of a plain and simple thing. If someone makes it dirty. Then... I, hang on. How about I solve this with two simple rules? One, aim. There's no way. There's no way what you saw in that video comes from a guy who's holding his holding it still. Okay, this guy is opening his pants and, and shaking like a fucking the rugrats. He's probably movie. on his he's phone. He's doing fountains. all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he's doing. Yeah, uh, he's he's doing gross stuff. Okay, number two, if you do spray, clean up after yourself so your wife doesn't try to take away your standing privileges. A Problem bit of solved. Toilet paper wipe her up. Problem and solved. Get out of there. Problem solved. Problem solved. Yeah. Or the leak. The the p bib. They took, like, napkins, and they made P-bibs, and that was a fantastic idea. Okay, Uh, two more things I want to cover before we get into our favorite segments. One is uh, we're trying to get famous, right? That's the goal here. I think everybody, you know, you want to get famous, and it pisses me off when I go on social media platforms and people like what we're about to show you get have have hundreds of thousands of views and and are are, are sponsored. Get a record deal. Yeah, yeah. which makes me mad. This man's name is Disco Bob. Um, I don't want to hate on him. He just seems like a real sweet guy, but this is Disco Bob. He's our guy. My own doctor. Um, this one's here all the time for me. What am I talking about? Diet Dr. Pepper. He's got 85,000 views. Or no, not 85,000. 18,000 on this one. 18,000 on this one. People say America's a bad place. That guy is going to start raking in some dough because no, he, he is. showed his Dr. Pepper. So Disco Bob, Bob Zero on TikTok uh, started to come on in, in late 2020 and has really started to like explode on the scene. Um, he, he's kind of a regular comedian, a little comedian actor, a little bit of that. And uh, he kind of looks like a like a fat Mr. Mr. Clean. Yeah, I was just about to say yeah. that. He's yeah, he's got some sort of yeah, like Mr. Clean thyroid issue. His wife Mr. left Clean. him and he's fallen on hard yeah. times. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if Mr. Clean drank some of the product. There. That's <laughs> boom. Got it. Ha. All right. So Mr. Clean, he's got a couple more videos on here that I just want to take us through. It's the GTP difference. Will we prep the clips in advance next week? Maybe. Maybe. I never yell at anybody. Hey, you. Be quiet. Shut up. I never yell at nobody. I'm always nice. I never yell. That'll be enough out of you. No. Like I said, I never yell at anybody. The smug smile kind of bothers me. I won't lie. It's Disco Bob. How many views did that one have? Let's take a look. I couldn't find it. I was trying. This one's this one doesn't have as many. It's, it's got about a thousand. But Disco Bob has just started to rage me. He's just his caption is I'm doing a little comedy acting. Just a little comedy. Just a little just a little mess around. Just a little mess around with Disco Bob. There's two ways to get good and get rich in comedy. It's be good at comedy or be horrendous at it. That's very true. There's no in between. Well, that's the whole laughing at you. And that's where we are. Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Um, he does one more. I'm almost certain of it. But either way, that's Disco Bob. Okay? Disco Bob Zero on TikTok. Give him a follow. Tell him that Chumman It Up sent you. Tell him to give us a shout out because I think he takes requests. So uh, maybe we'll get a cameo from him sometime. Who knows? Um, 
which brought me to like other famous people who just kind of flashed on the map, like a seven year old singing uh, Hank Williams at a Walmart. Um, what happened to Mason Ramsey? Do you have an update? I need for background no, okay. here of our listeners. Andre, I know people that have gone to concerts. And they've said they were some of the best concerts they've ever been That's to. That's a fucking lie. No, no, they were genuine. He crowd surfs. He he I, is a showman. You're all pedophiles then. There is a seven-year-old mm. boy jumping mm. off the stage, and you're all just, Mason mm. Ramsey, yodel boy. I, you, I don't know what I'll do. I'm going to call the cops. That's what I'm going to fucking do. That's disgusting. Yeah. I, I used to think it was good music until I realized that I was 22-year-old man thinking that an 11-year-old singing country music was was good and that scared me no big one ever time. thought it was good it was ah, it was it was famous for loving you is a I put it in weird al category it's no real, no oh. weird al was intentionally funny and and designed totally for parody okay. whereas Mason Ramsey his grandparents hoard him out for money <laughs> for, essentially but yeah. however where did it, child it, labor laws come in at that no point? no 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 because here's the it's the american dream right they were it like is. oh my god he can pay for his college and his kids college and his kids kids college all we got to do is you know just start putting adderall in his fruit loops and putting him on stage for fucking all over at walmart's across the country worked for Justin beaver no it yeah i did yeah i did <laughs> It but did it did but it's different because Justin Bieber evolved with the music in the times. Mason True. Justin Bieber like enjoyed making music at the time. Little Mason Ramsey was just hey, trying history to will tell. He was singing for, so he could get an Avengers action figure, and <laughs> it got tell. put on YouTube. Yeah, history will tell. No, because he's gone. He's off the map. What's I hilarious about country music is Mason Ramsey. We may die with like a 2070 Mason Ramsey greatest hit album. Like he could evolve with our entire lives because guys like Hank Williams and whatever, they can carry into their seventies and continue to George Strait continues to make music. Mason Ramsey is going to be with us for the rest of our life. Book it. Rap, country, all that becomes one genre by twenty forty. There is no yeah, other genres of music. It. I agree. There's metal. And then there's there's rock. radio. It, it's yeah. It's gonna be, it's, like it's gonna be two genres. It's, it's gonna be two it's gonna be two genres. Okay, three genres. Um Radio, which is just an all-encompassing, because now when you listen to the radio, you've got Florida Georgia Line meets Nelly meets Mason Ramsey meets a Sean Mendez meets fucking The Wiggles meets Weird Al Yankovic, and you've got that quite a bit. Okay, then you've got non-radio, which would be maybe a category or two, which is like sad music sure, and, sure. and and metal music. Maybe hip hop survives. Maybe it doesn't. That's why I genuinely believe that rap and country, hip hop and country, will become one. All the stations I that do. say they're country music are going to be where they're pretty close. Where right? your where, uh, what would they say? Hit music. Where your hit music station? They're going to drop the country and they're going to drop the pop station. It's going to be today's hits. That's all it's going to be, and it's going to be all all the music you think you love put together into one same seven drum beats that you hear over and over. Which again. is hilarious because no one actually likes it. But it gets continuous plays over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the way it goes. Um, all right. What do you say we do some segments? Sure. Okay. The two segments we're gonna do is uh, the end as we know it and creature of the week. Okay. End as we know it headline. Uh, let me pull this up here for us. Headlines of the week. I got one. All right. Go ahead. Philip Rivers retired. Right. Yep. Solid career for a guy that can't throw a football. Fair, absolutely. Troy Wingo on Twitter. And uh, Phil is famously known for having uh, a nice-sized family. Got and I uh, maybe this is funny. Maybe it's not. Troy Wingo coming out with the uh, – now that Rivers is retired, he can finally think about settling down and having some kids. <laughs> I do actually like that one. Um, this headline was, um, woman gets massaged from elephant – uh, here's why it's problematic. And then I realized after shortly reading the article that this segment is going to be more difficult because uh, they're, it's pretty t- training an elephant is kind of mean and bad. And so uh, I retract. But the end is we know it. Submit your articles, ones that just make you go, why? Yeah. It's very, uh, you know, the wokest, find these yeah, the wokest headlines of, uh, of 2021. We're, we'll give a freebie this week. Okay. Um, the last segment here is Creature of the Week. Now, this is clips assembled both from YouTube, from TikTok, from all these places. Um, all put into, into a nice little folder for us. So we're going to we'll, – we'll start here. Now, we'll let uh, 
I'll let you react, or I'll let you vote on these, but I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll let the listeners know what we got going on. I don't care how much me and my husband argue. He's mine until I kill him. And then he's Jesus' problem after that. I like it. I mean, she's right. Then he's Jesus' problem. That implies that's some heavy Im- implications she, that you're going where yeah, you think you're Yeah, she's, uh, she's assuming he's doing, you know, all his, minding his P's and Q's outside yeah. of him. I don't care how much me and my husband argue. He's mine. They voted for Biden, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, okay. Absolutely not. Yeah, so it's a good-looking couple. Um, Until I he's holding him, her nicely. And then he's Jesus' problem after that. I hate to say it, but they look like people I know. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, probably high school somewhere. Hey, TikTok. Buy me a single country boy. What did I just watch? You like that? I had, I'm so confused. It's just painful. Okay, I know we don't have a lot of listeners, but can we get this lady a date? She's looking. Find me a single country boy. Okay, maybe when this guy and his wife gets divorced, maybe when the first guy and his wife gets divorced, she knows that, where to find him. Yeah, well, there may be something going on already. Whatever. Maybe we'll and that's where him. that's where he'll get killed. Yeah, okay. Another one. Please rise for our national anthem. Open up the safe, bitches got a lot to say. That was an ROTC kid uh, side by side with the baseball game that accidentally played uh, some uh, Megan the Stallion. And uh, man, does he look upset. Do you want to watch that one again? Yeah. All right. I, I, I uh, can't find it. I want to judge if this is for <laughs> He's so unhappy. He's, he's not mad. He's disappointed. No, absolutely disappointed. He looks just, he looks gutted. Yeah. Boy, what's wrong? My girl is shit. Girl, boy, what's wrong? My girl is shit. Girl, what's wrong? My boy is shit. Why I can't leave him? Because she's a fucking whore. <laughs> I mean, uh... The New r- intro music? I really was expecting a... No, from dude. that guy. How about we give another one? How about we do another listen on that one, huh? Boy, what's wrong? My girl is shit. Girl, boy, what's wrong? My girl is shit. Girl, what's wrong? My boy is shit. Why I can't leave him? Because she's a fucking whore. I don't care how much me and my husband argue. He's mine until I kill him. And then he's Jesus' problem after that. I mean, it's perfect. Those the, 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 the group of people you brought together spend every Sunday together. Absolutely. And after church, church, after church uh, lunches. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had one more late entry contestant. Deserve to be treated. Life's too short for shitty sex and bad relationships. So find someone who's gonna fuck you right and treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Shut up. Shut up. You know that guy. He's one of those guys. He's you. How many times do you think that he has posted early morning gym time snaps? On a scale of one to ten. Every morning. Um <laughs> How many girlfriends has he actually had since he got to college? None. I don't know. He probably he has tweets, a lot of he friends. tweets a lot of soft stuff. He tweets a lot of soft stuff. I can see he's this guy. You know the guy in the friend group that like tries to align themselves, like, you know, show that they're deeper and emotional thinker by posting this kind of stuff, but in reality you know that like they're just trying to get a nut on? Like everyone's Facebooks from high school? Yeah, no, pretty much. Yeah. But I'm saying even in college, like that Twitter, where it's like, girl, if he doesn't open a car door and, and smack your butt on the way out, then he's not the one. It's like, well, actually, maybe he's the one who listens to, listens to you and, and has a 401k. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's got emotional stability and um, not, not 9,000 Twitter followers and a sketchy phone. Yeah, right. And still lives with his parents. And still lives with his parents. Uh, let's see here. Do we got any other drops uh, prepared for... for uh, Los chumming it up. Who knows? Where it's, it's a it's a good time out here. I want to say we maybe had one more. If not, we'll just close the show up. Who even knows? You know. So again, uh, well, as this as this opens up, actually, I think we're gonna we're gonna be just fine. So for a couple weeks now, I've been oh. trying to explain to my husband that. Yeah, okay. So, Andre, this is uh, now that we found the video. 
So we made it to the bathroom and I don't even want to turn it on. Ew. Ew. You know when you flick it a couple times? Those are handprints. I Half of those are hands. I don't know what that is, but that is not pee. Yeah, that's where it actually goes. And then, and this is probably my favorite part. <laughs> is that, is um, it looks like a waterfall. What? <laughs> <laughs> your man has a fucking UTI. That's what the problem is, and you need to get him checked. Yeah, and, or your and, toilet's like overflowing at night. Or like, it's just, oh, I don't know. It's condensating. Have you ever been in a house when it's cold? And then, I don't know. I've, I've, I've definitely had like like condensated toilet bowls. It got 500,000 likes. How many of you out there aren't cleaning up your piss? You're going to make it worse for everybody else because yeah. you know what? I'm not sitting down. I, fuck no. No. What? No. No. And I think the worst part is when you sit down to poop and all you do is pee. Poop cast. Told you it would make a return. Bang, bang, bang. What do we have for time? We are at 47 minutes. 47 With a minutes. lot of dead air. Let's give Harley a call. We're going to bring on a host oh. of the Tuesday catch-up. We're going to bring on a host of the Tuesday catch-up. Um, I'm going to email him over the link. It's going to be just fine. Now, while we sit on there, what else has been going on? I don't know. I just... My vaccination plan is a great... A smashing success. Um, I think that that's the best way to get people to buy in. Yo, bro, I could get you a fake vaccine card. You well, see, that's also a good business idea. There we go. Counterfeits. You know how you had a fake, just a fake to get into bars. Well, if they make vaccine cards, could we not just fake those? That's a genius idea. Well, to yeah, pay the big but bucks. the vaccine's gonna put the chip in you so that they know it's in you. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna get flagged for fake news now. Mm, bummer. Anyway, so to recap my plot, here's my plot. Um, your local sports team, let's say the Green Bay Packers, they're in the playoffs or even at the beginning of the season, whatever. People are amped, and generally tickets are too expensive for a lot of people. So here's what you do. You offer free tickets um, to the game. All they have to do is show up, and on their way in, so it's first come, first serve, 100,000 tickets, whatever the full stadium capacity is, it's first come, first serve. And as you show up and you just get the vaccination and you're free to go on in and enjoy the game. I think it's a great, uh, great method. I don't know. Your most vocal detractors, like think of the people who don't want to do it, are also probably big up north pack fans that think we're a bunch of yuppies, think tickets prices are too high, think the game's out. So it's first come, first serve like it used to be. Um, good old days. The good old days indeed. The good old days indeed. So what else can you expect from the show? Like I said, guests. We'll bring on everyone from the Tuesday catch-up. Andre may or may not ever be on camera. It's probably – there will be some nights where I'm just out here just giving it to you solo. Um, lots of clips. So if you find something. Tonight we decided to double team you. <sighs> That's nice. Uh, send us clips. So if you find something that you find funny, um, you think that we should uh, take a little look at, Creature of the Week candidates are an absolute must. So send those in, uh, woke headlines or, or headlines of the week, anything of that nature. We all have those friends on our social media accounts that when we find something good, we automatically say, oh, this has to go there. Well, that's going to chum it up from now on. We want everything. Put us in your group chats. Yep. We want everything from the serious to the funny to the headlines just Bring it on. One other thing you can do, and you hear me say it every week, is please just go out, write a five-star review. Even if this first episode sucked, you go out, you hit five stars, you say something terrible to me in the comments. It's fine. I'll have Andre will read all the reviews um, every week. He'll read every single review, every question, every message. So even if you want to say something inflammatory and just have Andre read it word for word, you're well, you know, you're, you're more Get than me canceled 20 years from now. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. So remember five stars takes very easy. If you're on Spotify, just toss us a follow. If you're on the iTunes, hit that subscribe button and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, we're going to do some pretty fun stuff. We're going to start making skits and stuff and you'll see those in the episodes. So there's a lot of cool stuff coming. Um, all right, we're going to turn you over to Harley. All right, uh, first episode of Chumming It Up. We're welcoming on my brother, my birth brother, uh, other host of the Tuesday Catch Up. Um, no free ads, though. Um, Mr. Harley Fredrickson. Harley, how are you? Jeez. <laughs> Tuesday Catch Up difference. I don't know why it's doing this. All yeah. right, we now welcome on episode one of Chumming <laughs> It Up. Uh, my, my birthright brother, uh, also host of the Tuesday Catch Up, no free ads. Mr. Harley Fredrickson. Harley, how are you doing? Are you excited to be um, calling into the first episode? I, I am honored to be a part of the inaugural Chumming It Up, episode one. I'm doing well. Just got back from work. It's It's been a day. I'm, I'm happy to be home, even having the podcast. 
Um, Harley, we talked about certain things. We talked about Taco uh, being a member of Blue Lives Matter. Uh, we watched a lady ram someone in a McDonald's drive through We talked about Pizza Ranch. And then uh, we talked about um, Cranky Pat's Midnight Buffet, the choke slam uh, heard around the world. Any comments on that night, the, the choke slam with the drunk lady at Cranky Pat's Midnight Buffet? Oh, my gosh. I don't know where to start with that that list of amazing talking points. Um, Taco pissing on Nancy Pelosi's desk, quite an event. <laughs> as far as the choke slam goes, <laughs> um, you know, not only was it a choke slam, like there was a little salt in the wound of really sharp, like, overly long nail marks mm-hmm. left in that left around the trachea of the victim that did happen yeah and uh wild to see that was my first physical assault i witnessed in person i'm not quite sure how i have known you guys for so long and never heard that story it's buried deep in the catacombs apparently that is that is yeah and and in some ways he had it but but in others that is just so uncalled for sure um harley uh, tomb of the unknown soldier guards useless or just kind of over the top. What do you think on them? You useless. I mean, that's just, that's a feel good living monument. It doesn't, it serves no real function. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of, it's a feel good thing for some people. I, I personally think it's kind of dumb and useless. All right. I respect that. You're on the same page as me. Okay. Uh, Harley, are you going to rate the show five stars? And would you also recommend that other people do the same? Yeah. And you know, I would also add that they should probably like share and subscribe on how many channels. I mean, every single channel, probably on every channel, maybe even share it on your socials that that might be a bet. Even on your QAnon, even on your QAnon, put us on your Reddit boards, put us on your, uh, your safety chats, put us on whatever you want to put us on, but also YouTube. Um, Harley, photo yeah your parlor yeah put us on parlor um really anywhere uh harley yeah 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 do you have any maybe on your top five in myspace we'll put the logo on there harley any final thoughts for uh for us before we let you go we just wanted to say hello you know i feel it's a family show it's a family event uh stay froggy uh stay tuning in chumming it up it's it's uh it's a new venture and you're gonna Come for the chum, stay for the laughs. Mm, mm, yeah, we're gonna. I, I don't know. We'll be chumming. We'll be chumming. All right, Harley. We'll see you on the Tuesday catch up. All right, excellent, my brother. Enjoy. All right. Uh, happy first episode. Talk to you soon. All right. Man, that delay is real. No matter where you are or when when it happens, that guy's internet is fucking garbage. All right. I don't know how we sign off the show. I've never done a sign off for chumming it up before. So um, send us some suggestions. That's it. See ya.